Uh, Governor Snyder signed uh, or established the Michigan Office for New Americans in 2014 to attract and retain global talent. And uh, he's, he declared June as uh, Immigrant Heritage Month uh, this year. What plans would you um, uh, propose to attract more people to come to Michigan, given that we might lose a congressional seat due to population decline? I'm smiling because your name is Hassan and my name is Abdul. Um, our families came here because they believed in an America big enough for all of us. And we have watched as the federal government has done everything in its power to marginalize and alienate people of color, and particularly those from recent immigrant backgrounds. Whether it is what we saw a couple weeks ago uh, at our southern border, people in our name using our tax dollars to rip children away from their, their families, or attacks on things like the, <laughs> the, 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 the basic visa programs that have allowed immigrants to come here and take high quality jobs um, uh, that they're uniquely well suited for, creating huge levels of economic activity in the process. Um, we've got a responsibility to stand up uh, for immigrants and for immigration because it has been the lifeblood in this country for a very long time. We believe in this idea of pluribus unum, that out of many there are one. That notion of a country where people can come together beyond their differences, celebrating their similarities, that's a unique thing we offer in the world, and we're watching as the federal government is stripping that away. What does that mean to me? Yes, I think some of uh, these programs that the Snyder administration has promulgated, they're good starts, but they don't go all the way, because unless you're willing to stand up for immigrants uh, when they're being marginalized, then uh, you haven't done your job by them. Under my leadership, our state will not expend a dime of state taxpayer resources enforcing federal immigration policy that at best is incoherent and at worst is heartless. We will not participate them with them uh, through our state uh, police. We will not participate them with them uh, through the State Department of Corrections because I do not believe uh, that they are doing what's in the best interest of our state. Because every time we watch one of these deportations, you're talking about a family that's been torn apart and you're talking about a portion of our economy that's been shipped out. Um, and I'm not willing to be a part of that. Beyond that, I look forward to pushing forward legislation that would preempt localities from participating with ICE um, and using their local resources to do the same. Um, beyond that, we've also got to make sure that in this state, we are not discriminating by documentation status. Right now, if you're undocumented, you don't get access to a driver's license, so you're stuck. You don't get access to a lot of the basic things the state offers everybody else, and I think that's ridiculous. And so we've got to stop discriminating that way. And I also believe that we've got to make sure that if we're honest and serious <laughs> about uh, empowering our immigrant communities, then we've got to put some money behind making sure that folks c have the access uh, to be able to train in their uh, profession of choice, to be able to get re-licensed uh, to, 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 to do what they do here in the United States, and invest in basic things like English language training. I mean, uh, we watched the state legislator push uh, uh, legislation that would make um, the, the official language of the state of Michigan English, and so if that's the case, then why don't we make sure that people are trained in English? You can't have both ways. If you're honest about, um, about making English the, the, the language, then let's make sure that everybody has access to learning English instead of just alienating people who look a little bit different or speak a little bit different. Would refugees be a part of this plan? Absolutely. I mean, um, people come here believing in the American dream, <coughs> and nobody believes in that dream like refugees do. Right? They're coming here because they believe in an America where they too can have, have a better life. And... Um, and we, as a, as, a, as a country, I believe, uh, owe it to the world to open our doors. And, um, and we're better because of it, right? I've never met an immigrant in my life who didn't want what's best for their family and what's best for our country. Um, immigrants are part of who we are. And um, we've got to stop alienating people who look a little bit differently. And we've got to remember who we are at core, a place that believes in a set of ideals. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all people are created equal. If we take that seriously, then that means that policies have to follow that. Mm -hmm.